Alrighty everybody, welcome to the next tutorial. This will be very quick. All I'm going to show you is how to simply split a model into different pieces because we are limited to the amount of polygons a row client can render. So the number of polygons is roughly around 1500 to 2000. So as long as you're within like say the 1500 limit of polygons, you should be okay per model. So well, if we have a model that, say, is 3,000 polygons, you will have to split that up into either three parts or two parts. Just keep in mind that it's it's very difficult to figure out if you've hit that limit or not. But a good rule of, rule of thumb is to have at least 1,500 polygons per model. That should be good for the real client to uh, render. Okay, so as you can see, you have a simple model here. So have some sort of space shuttle. It is matter of fact it is not 3000 polygons it is somewhere in the range of 300 so it's very simple in design and I'm just going to show you a really easy way to split it so if I click the model just like this using the select tool right click convert to editable mesh you'll see this little modifier box pop up <coughs> so there are many different ways to split a model you can split it by vertices edges face polygons or element it all dep depends on what you want so if I select polygon, and I hit the number 7, you notice it says faces. So there's 108 in this particular model. So if I actually highlight and deselect like that, you'll see that it's grabbing the, the polygons like this. So you can, it, you'll can you notice that if I grab this portion, it's only grabbing that part of the ship. If I go to faces, do the same thing, it starts grabbing, it grabs different parts. Now it's grabbing the faces of the, of the object. So Depending on how you want to select the object of, uh, of what you want to split, you choose any of these any of these options, whatever that works out better. So I chose face, and I'm going to cut off this piece of the model right here, okay, just like that. So after you select an area, just scroll down this area right here, and then see where it says attach and detach. Hit the detach button. Just hit OK. Don't worry about these checkboxes. Now your model should be split into two pieces. So if I go to the Move tool right here, and I select each of the models, uh, let's see a second here. Oh, that's fine. Gotta make sure Edible Mesh is selected here. Now you see I have two pieces. So if I actually pull one out and the other out, you'll see that there's there's there are now two pieces that can connect to perform the one model. And ignore the hollow points. That's perfectly normal. When you get into Brow Edit, you'll be able to um, put it back together when you when you get both models in. So now the way we have our two models split, we have to save each model as a separate file. So to do that, just go to the select tool. Whoops, wrong one. Select and rotate. Take the select tool to select that. Then go to file. Uh, s export. Sorry, export selected. That's what it is. Export selected. So file export selected. So I'm always I'm only exporting this particular model of the two pieces. Let's go to desktop, we'll just go to desktop here, and then hit, um, we'll just call this shuttle underscore A, like that, sure, just preserve all that, and then go to second model, file, export selected as, shuttle underscore B, hit preserve currents, and that's it, we've just successfully, um, we successfully split off our two models, so let's actually open up Shuttle A, uh, 3DS file. All right, so I just restarted uh, 3DS Max, and I'm gonna go to File, Import, File Import, Desktop, Shuttle A. Okay, and you'll notice so Material Editor, and well, you can set this. You can set your materials if you. When you're, when you're finished, but yeah, so you see it's only this part of the model, right? Which is what we did. File, import, second piece of the model, okay, and the second one pops up right here. So that's it. That's the split the model into two pieces. We texture it when you, uh, based on the, you know, the mapping, so the, the texture mapping, and uh, that's it. You should be good to go. So that's splitting models, and that's it. So go crazy with that and I guess I'll see you guys later on the next tutorial when it comes out.